the one product I used to study for boards as a med student that's worth anything to me as an intern is Picmonic. Stick around. In the end, I'm giving away some access codes that give you an extended trial. Before I discovered Picmonic, I was drawing this kind of stuff to help me remember facts for the test. For me, Picmonic took what I was already doing and made it much more consistent and way better quality. Let me show you what I mean. High yield facts are converted into illustrations. Those facts are arranged in groups to tell you stories. And these stories help you learn faster and remember way longer. Like remembering so long they're still helpful intern year. I just took step three and guess what? Picmonics popping in and out of my mind all throughout. I mean, I started using this in med school. Just the other day, my neighbor comes over and it comes out that he's an Ashkenazi Jew. My mind went to the Neiman Pick card, which is seriously one of the first Picmonics ever made, I think. And it came back... Hadn't reviewed the card in two years, and now he's testing his kids for sphingomyelinase deficiency. JK, but the point is, I thought of it. And this is how it works on your boards, and when you're rounding with a tough attending and with her incessant quizzing, and when it comes time to formulating an assessment plan for your own patients. Compared to when I was a med student, they've added tons more content and so many more ways to remember the content. There are now around 1,400 Picmonics, and while I wouldn't re recommend you trying to tackle them all at once, my biggest hang-up is that I, there are so many to learn and I can't possibly do it all. I would recommend targeting hard-to-learn subjects and concepts and exhausting all the Picmonics related to that as you study. You'll quickly rack up hundreds of Picmonics that you've mastered and thousands of concepts that you can recall on demand when your memory is put to the test. You can order the Picmonics into playlists. Quiz yourself on them and whatever device you have on you at the time will work. And then you can even create your own daggum Picmonics with their Picmonic generator, which is seriously amazing. If you're serious about building a fund of knowledge in medical school that you want to retain in residency and beyond, I can't stress enough how easy it is to forget everything your professor puts on a PowerPoint slide and or mind-numbing black and white text on a book. Uh, if you don't believe me and think I'm not a visual learner, think again. Do me a favor. Google picture superiority effect, dual coding theory, and von Restorf effect, for starters. Look, I don't try to convince people to buy anything. My whole channel is centered around ways I've found to share what helps on this journey to becoming a doctor. But if you are at least interested, I totally recommend that you check them out. We are a generation of doctors with access to much more sophisticated learning tools. Why not differentiate ourselves from the older crowd by using something new that works? Thanks for watching and stick around for more great videos.